Hello friends, welcome to 3 Minutes with Toy and Harris. Today we're reading from 2 Samuel 17, 14. So Absalom and all the men of Israel said, The advice of Hushai the Archite is better than the advice of Ahithophel. For the Lord had purposed to defeat the good advice of Ahithophel to the intent that the Lord might bring disaster on Absalom. So in this scripture, the advice of Ahithophel was better than the advice of Hushai. Because the Bible says that in those days, when Ahithophel spoke, it was as if God was speaking. So God had given him wisdom to be able to give godly counsel. But what happened here? God intentionally defeated his counsel because he was using it negatively in a conspiracy. And so God did not like what he was doing, what he stood for at that particular point in time. And so he defeated that counsel. He turned that counsel to foolishness. If you decide to use what God has given you, the gift he has given you, the influence he has given you, if you begin to decide to use it negatively, it will work against you. It will boomerang. And this was what happened to Ahithophel. All of a sudden, what he knew how to do started looking like what he didn't even know how to do because God had altered that gift because he was using it wrongly. So we need to begin to check our motives. You need to begin to check your promptings. Why are you doing what you're doing? What is the basis of it? Is it honoring God or are you compromising? And the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Ahithophel had deflected unwisely. He went from being a trusted counselor to being a conspiring conspirator. And because of this, his, his story ended abruptly. May we not be emptied in the name of Jesus. And with that, we're going to begin to pray that, Father, in this season, the gifts and blessings you have given me, Father, Lord God Almighty, I will not use it contrarily in the name of Jesus Christ. I will not abuse your gifts upon my life. I will not forget the owner of the gift and begin to do as I please in the name of Jesus Christ. I will not go from being a blessing to a curse. Father, my story will not end suddenly in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. May the Lord bless you even as you have listened to these three minutes. May God help you to use your gifts to glorify him and not to use it as a form of abuse in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray that you will join us again next week even as we come again with another three minutes with Twain Harris. God bless you and have a great week.